fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Today, Lawrence, actually this last week, they announced that they're coming out with a 360. And today, I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, basically, what they're doing is they're offering you this 360. Um, if you already have a Lowrance uh, Carbon Live or a Elite FS, it'll work. You have to have a Ghost motor because the 360, is, they call it the Ghost 360. And what you do is we're going to install a 3-in-1 nose cone in the Ghost motor. And actually all the updates, there's going to be a couple updates that's going to be done. You have to update your unit, your live or carbon, to a 22.0. And then um, the Ghost motor also has to be updated. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. But I'm going to show you how to bolt this nose cone on there. And so the next episode I'll be on the water showing you how to work it. But please hit the like and subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. And then if you look on the description on the bottom right hand corner, if you click it, it shows you all the products that I'm using. It's affiliate links that I have and it will come back and help me get my channel running. So it, it'll be a lot of help if you click on it and purchase it online and I can get my channel running so I could teach you more. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and it will really help my channel. Thank you. Okay. You can leave a comment below, and I will get back to you. So basically, when this thing is operating, your motor is going to turn by itself 180 degrees. So it's going to spin 180, spin 180. And at any time, I could touch the screen, save it as a waypoint, and then go back and fish it, drop my motor down, turn my active live, and actually see what I'm looking at. So today I'm going to basically show you how to install it and do the software update and get you on the water. So here's a goodie. This is a Ghost 3-in-1. So I'm going to open it up and show you what's in here. So this is a, the nose cone that we're going to change on the Ghost. So I'm going to take the cap off. Just an eight millimeter hex screw. That's the only thing, only tool that you would need to do this. And there's also included in the kit some gaskets. These are just O-rings to make sure that the water doesn't get in. And this is probably going to be probably like a 10-15 minute installation. You can see right here that's the temp probe, and this is the connector that's going to go in the ghost. You slide it on, put this bolt inside and we're done so all you need is eight millimeter allen wrench take this and remove this bolt and then inside here you're going to see another one so we're going to pull this one out too and it looks like in the package that they give you a, a new one so they don't want you to use the old one. So pull this out. And then you just grab this nose cone and kind of wiggle it and pull it out. So this one just has the down imaging and 2D sonar. Just pull the little cap off. And we got to change some gaskets. So we're going to pull these off. So I'm removing these gaskets. They're probably okay because this motor is not very old, but I'm going to change them anyway. So here's the difference between, this is the old one. So this has down imaging and 2D sonar. This has down imaging, 2D sonar, and side scan. So what's going to happen when we took this on, this 360, is that's going to spin 180. So this side imaging is going to take pictures. Two washers, we're just going to put them on, put one, two, and make sure they fit in that little groove that's in there. They give us a new bolt, so we're going to take this, put this little O-ring in that groove right there. Let me measure. 
this other gasket is going to go in this little slot right here like that and we're ready to put it on so take the cone here first thing I'm going to do is plug this plug this in so right here there's a little slot you're going to see that little sticking out that little plastic piece and then there's a you'll see it hollowed out here and make sure you line it up and put it on that way there you don't accidentally bend the pin so it's about a quarter of a turn and then you're in then we're going to take this remember it's going to go right over the top here and see this groove it's going to fit in this slot where the skag is and then we're going to slide it on and push it in then I'm going to take the bolt stick it in this hole here tighten it back and you're supposed to put about 25 pounds of torque which is probably if you just snug it good you'd be fine okay now that I got the nose cone put on the motor I'm going to update everything so number one is you got to have your trolling motor on so make sure that blue light is on and then I'm going to not turn the unit on leave it off I'm going to open the chip drawer so the update that I'm getting off Lawrence's website is um, you go in to look at HDS live and then it'll be 22.0 I believe it's 22 and then on the ghost motor it's 1.2 and then you download them onto your computer and then you put it onto a SD card and it has to be a micro so then I take it with the unit off stick it in slot and then turn the power you could either put it in one or two it doesn't make any difference until we do the ghost then it will so I got it on one and I turn the unit on and it's going to read the chip and it's going to know that it needs a software update okay so now look at the unit it's telling me it's installing the update don't touch that thing because if you were to power it off right now or hit a button you're going to jam it and the only way you could get it fixed is take send it into Lawrence. so once you see it this bar going across the side it's telling you how fast it's loading the software so like if say you're you have your unit for a couple years and they've done four downloads if you've never done it and then you do the last the newest one it takes a long time like this to download so now it's rebooting so it's, it said rebooting on the screen so it's going to load all the info it just took all the info off the chip now it's installing it onto the hard drive into the unit and it usually takes a couple minutes before this is done in doing these updates what it does is it makes your units run more efficient so if you notice here it says update is being finalized don't turn the power off if you turn it off you're sending it back to Lawrence. now when you see this screen here it's all done so I'm gonna hit accept and then I'll tell it not now okay so here see the page button I'm gonna hit the page button and then I hit the little pinwheel this is the setup wheel I hit that and I'm gonna grab it and I lift it up and I hit about and see right here 22.1 so I know it took the latest version pages again and then I'm gonna lift up here I'm gonna go to storage I put the card in the top one so it's telling me the top slot I go here now I'm gonna go down now see this ghost full update I'm gonna hit that and I look on here this is update now I'm gonna hit upgrade so see that blue box um, this it's checked already sometimes they don't check it but this one's checked make sure the motors powered on and I'm gonna hit start upgrade so if you don't have a check mark over here then hit the blue check it and then proceed to download and you can see it's upgrading and it'll give you a progress it's going to tell you you know how far along you are and it'll also tell you when you're done so this whole system is going to be talking to each other I have I have the ghost motor 
I have the HDS units, I have the Active Live, and they're all going to talk to each other. And now I'm going to have a 360. So I'm going to have the best of all worlds. So when I have my units all synchronized, I could look at anything I want on the front and back unit. They could see everything I'm watching, and I could see everything they're watching. So on here, I'm going to close this out. Up it says upgrade complete, so I know I'm done. Exit, progress 100%, so I'm going to get out and exit out. So there's one here that I also loaded with active target, but I already did it. So I did all the updates. I got my motor updated, the unit updated. I have the um, active target all updated. I'm ready to go, so I'm ready to take it out and see how it works. So you can come in here again, hit the setup, which is the pinwheel, scroll up and hit about, and it's gonna tell you what your update is. Another thing is when I first install this 360, watch, I'm gonna show you, I hit the page and I don't see it. So you have to turn it on and you only have to do it once. So I go to setup again and I'm gonna scroll up to advanced and I'm going to go to Features, and see the Ghost 360? It says it's off. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to make sure I got my sonar on, my Ghost 360, my structure scan, and my active target. All on. Exit out. 360 has been enabled. Exit out here. Now when I hit my page, boom, Ghost 360. So. I'm gonna add a page. So I scroll up here like this. I'm gonna hit the positive and then you can add any panel you want. So here's what I have on this whole system. So if I want ghost and then I wanted regular sonar and then I could save it. So now I'm gonna have ghost on one side and regular sonar. Now when I do this 360, I'm gonna wanna come in here and I'm going to want to move it over because I'm going to want more of my page. So you see this adjust splits? I hit it and I pull this over and then I hit save. Now I have a bigger view of the 360 and then after I get everything aligned I just slide that over and bam I got 360 and regular 2D sonar. So you could put 360 with side scan Sonar, active target, down scan, GPS. You could put four windows on this screen if you want to. So I found that just running two is good enough because the screen's not quite big enough. So normally, like I think when I first get out and try this, I'm gonna run 360 only just to try it and see how it works. Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.